Hero's Quest. All right, there are a lot of requirements. First of all, you need 55 quest points, and the rest of the skills listed here, including being able to defeat a level 111 enemy. You also need to have completed Shield of Erev, Lost City, Merlin's Crystal, Dragon Slayer, and Druidic Ritual. For starting the quest, you need a pickaxe, a games necklace if you have one, whatever weapon, armor, food, and potions you need to kill the level 111 enemy who attacks with melee, a teleport that will get you near a bank, such as Varrock, and bring some energy and stamina potions if you're in a hurry. In your bank, you'll need a fishing rod, or five coins, fishing bait, or three coins, Harlander, vial of water, anti-dragon shield, some way of getting to Port Serum, like teleport to house or an amulet of glory to drain or village, Falador teleport, two Varrock teleports, way to get to Brimhaven, such as an amulet of glory, or 30 coins from Port Serum. Now, depending on which gang you joined in the Shield of Erev quest, you will need some certain items. You can check which gang you joined by going into your Shield of Erev quest log. If you're a Black Arm Gang member, you will need a Black Full Helm, Black Plate Body, Black Plate Legs, and if you're a Phoenix Gang member, you'll need some type of ranged or magic attack. You also need to find a member of the opposite gang to help you. People who have completed this quest already can help others again, so hopefully that will make it easier to find a partner. To start the quest, we need to go to the Heroes Guild in Berthorp. If you use the Games Necklace Teleport, that'll get you pretty close. Outside the front of the building, talk to the woman named Archietes. Say, I'm a hero, may I apply to join? If you have the proper requirements, she'll say you need to obtain a Firebird Feather, a Master Thieves Armband, and a Cooked Lava Eel. You can get these items in any order, but I'm going to start with the Fire Feather first. In order to get it, we need Ice Gloves. If you already have Ice Gloves, you can skip this part. To get Ice Gloves, we need to defeat the Ice Queen, who lives under White Wolf Mountain. To find her, run south through Taverly, then enter the mountain before heading northwest, and take the path north and then west, and then north again, where you'll find a pile of rocks to your east. Right click and mine the rocks. There will be three ladders. Click on the southernmost one to climb down. Run west and then take the southwestern path. You will find another ladder, so climb up. Then avoid the ice giant and climb down the ladder to the northeast. Now we need to run all the way around the dungeon, as you can see on the map here. There are a few ice spiders, which weirdly don't show up on the minimap, and then some ice giants as we start heading south again, and some more ice giants, and finally you'll find a ladder. Click it, and then go down this other ladder. This will put us in the Ice Queen's chamber. So heal if you need to, and then go north. It is a multi-combat area, so be aware that all of these guys can attack you at the same time. Find the Ice Queen, she's the one without a sword, and try and get her on your own if you can. If you go north of the throne, the Ice Warriors can't follow there. Anyway, it's a pretty straightforward battle, nothing too tricky. Once you kill her, Pick up the ice gloves she drops, and then teleport out and head to your nearest bank. We're going to Entrana next, so unequip all of your weapons and armor. Grab your vial of water and Harlander, fishing rod and fishing bait, or eight coins to buy them. Your favorite way to get to Port Serum, I'm going to use teleport to house, a Felidor teleport, and your ice gloves. Next make your way to the docks at Port Serum. Talk to one of the monks of Entrana and say you're ready to go to Entrana. He'll search you and hopefully approve you to leave. Okay, watch our little boat arrive. Disembark, and then go to the northeastern part of the island to find the Firebird. Kill it, which shouldn't be too hard since it's only level 2, and it will drop the Fire Feather. With your ice gloves equipped, you'll be able to pick it up. Return to the dock and talk to the monk to go back to Port Serum. Get off the boat and go west down the dock, then south, and then west again to get to the fishing shop. Talk to Jarrant and say, I want to find out how to catch a lava eel. He says you'll need a lava proof fishing rod, and then gives you some blamish snail slime. If you don't have a fishing rod or bait, go ahead and buy them from him now. Use your Harlander on your vial of water, and then use your Harlander potion on the blamish slime. You will then have some blamish oil. Right click it and use it on your fishing rod and you'll get an oily fishing rod. Now to get our lava eel, there are two possible fishing locations. 
One is in the Taverly Dungeon, and the other is in the Wilderness Lava Maze. Because I like to avoid the wilderness whenever I can, I'm going to go to the Taverly Dungeon in this guide, but feel free to go to the Lava Maze if you wish. So, teleport and run to Falador to bank. We're going to have to run past some enemies, including blue dragons, so grab some food and some armor and your anti-dragon shield. If you already have a dusty key, bring that, but if you don't, that's fine, just bring what you need to kill a level 47 enemy. Make sure you have a fishing bait and your oily fishing rod, and I recommend bringing a teleport to Vrock and some energy or stamina potion. Next, make your way to the entrance of the Taverly Dungeon. Climb down the ladder. If you have 70 agility, you can take the shortcut here, but otherwise we have to go around the long way. So run north, past the skeletons. You can go east through the gate if you want, I just forgot. So I just followed the path all the way around, which is fine too. And past the chaos druids and south, and just ignore anything that attacks you. And south through this chamber, and past the scorpions. And if you already have the dusty key, go west across this bridge and click here to skip ahead. Otherwise, keep heading south, and past the hill giants, and into the black night lair. Open the door here, and then run east to get to this jail area. Find the jailer and kill him. He'll drop the jail key. Pick it up, and then use it on the cell door to the south. Talk to Velrak the Explorer, and ask him, do you know anywhere good to explore? He asks if you want a key that unlocks a door deeper into the dungeon, and say yes please. Go west back the way we came. Go through the door. Out of the lair past the giants, and now we go across the bridge and to the north. Ignore the dwarves and the demons, and, and go through the gate to the west with our dusty key. Now run west past all the dragons, and you can use a protection prayer if you like. Okay, head south, and in the lava you'll see some spots with little bits flicking up, which will have a bait option. Click on one of the spots to start fishing, and you'll catch a lava eel. Now you can teleport out of the dungeon, I recommend Vrock since our next step is there. Go to the bank and grab a tinderbox and some logs, or find somebody lighting fires, and cook your lava eel. It can't be burned, so any fire or range will do. And also be careful, don't eat your lava eel. Okay, this next part varies slightly depending on if you're in the Phoenix Gang or the Black Arm Gang. Both members need a way to get to Brimhaven on Karamja, such as a charged amulet of glory or 30 coins to take the ship from Port Serum, as well as a Varrock teleport to return. The Phoenix Gang member needs a ranged weapon and some arrows, or some runes for magic, and the Black Arm Gang member needs their black full helm, black plate body, and black plate legs. Next, go to the hideout of your gang. Phoenix is the southeastern area, Black Arm is the southwest. Phoenix Gang, go down the ladder and talk to Mr. Bad Guy haircut Straven. You'll ask him where you can get a Master Thieves armband, and he'll say, Talk to Alphonse, a waiter in Brimhaven. Black Arm Gang, go talk to Katrine and ask her, Is there any way I could get to the rank of Master Thief? She says, Go to their hideout in Brimhaven and use the password, Four Leafed Clover. So now, get to Brimhaven by your favorite method, like Glory Teleport or taking the boat from Port Serum. Once you're in Brimhaven, have the Black Arm Gang member go to this building. Click on the door and tell Grubber, Four Leafed Clover. Click on the door again to go inside. Talk to Trobert, who definitely needs to have a baby named after him. Ask him for help getting Scarred Face Pete's candlesticks. He says that the head guard, Grip, has the key to the treasure room. There's a new guard starting work today, and the Black Arm Gang managed to steal his ID papers. So go ahead and volunteer to undertake the mission. Trobert says great, and gives you the ID papers. Now leave the house, and go northwest to the large building. Try and open the door, and Garv will question you. He takes a look at your ID, and then lets you enter. Click on the door again, and talk to Grip, since we aren't allowed to attack him outright. You'll introduce yourself, and then ask, So what do my duties involve? He'll ramble on a little bit, and then ask him, Anything I can do now? And he'll tell you to find out what this key opens, and give you the miscellaneous key. 
Now exit the building and find your partner, and then trade the miscellaneous key to the Phoenix Gang member. Now the Phoenix Gang member should take the key and go to this building. Talk to Alphonse the waiter and ask him if he sells gherkins. He'll tell you to talk to the cook. Go through the door and talk to Charlie the cook. Tell him you're looking for a gherkin. He'll ask what you're up to, so tell him you want to steal Scarface Pete's scandal sticks. He says there's a secret area that has been blocked off from the rest of the mansion that you can access by a secret door out of the kitchen. So next, find the wall panel to the west that can be pushed and go through it. Run to the door just to the northwest and avoid the guard dogs if you can. Use the key on the door to the north and wait in the room there. Okay, black arm member. When you see your partner in the room to the northeast, go to the room just to the west and open and search the cupboard. A guard will warn you not to, but say he won't notice me having a quick look. Rip will then move into the room because he did notice, at which point the Phoenix gang member should shoot or mage him through the gap in the wall. In order to get a shot at him, he has to be kind of in the middle of the room, and the black arm gang member can close the door to trap him if you're having trouble. Once Grip is killed, the black arm member can grab his key ring. The Phoenix member can go out of the room and back into the restaurant and meet out front. Black arm member, go west and then use the key ring on the door to the north. Search the chest, oh, wrong one, search this chest, and you'll get two candlesticks. Head out of the mansion and meet your partner. Trade one of the candlesticks to the Phoenix gang member and say thank you to your partner. Head back to Varrock and to your gang's hideout. Talk to either Katrine or Straven and they will give you a Master Thieves armband in exchange for your candlestick. So that's our three items. So head back to a bank and grab your Fire Feather, Lava Eel, and armband, as well as a Games Necklace for the Teleport to Burthorpe and any Amulets of Glory you want charged. Teleport to Burthorpe and make your way to the Heroes Guild to talk to Archietes. And she'll take your items and you will complete the quest. And in case you want to know how to charge your Amulets of Glory, go in through the front door, down the ladder, and go east past the dragon. And there's a blue dragon down here, by the way. Also some mithril and adamantite rocks, and go around to the south, and then use your amulet on this nice fountain here to charge it. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and give me any comments if you got some.